Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hi guys. Welcome back or for the very first time to the Homeschool Resource Room Insider where everyone is welcome and your questions are answered in five minutes or less. Hey, it's Ashley and this is episode 24 brought to you by Ready Set, whoop, there we go, Ready Set Homeschool. Uh, get prepared, feel confident. It is a five day workbook set, uh, hands on workbook that will get you prepared to homeschool and hit the ground running. So, okay, today's question comes from Suzanne in Arkansas. Suzanne asks, What do I need to do to make sure that I'm meeting my state compliance laws? Okay, so short answer, I don't know. I've never even been to Arkansas. I am not an expert in all 50 states, Canada, or wherever you are in the world. No one is, and that's the thing. There are a ton of really helpful, super nice homeschoolers probably living near you and definitely on the internet who want to tell you what you need to do. There are associations that want to tell you what to do. There are clubs that you can join that want to tell you all about compliance. But I strongly urge you to find out for yourself. There is one place that you can find out very easily, and that is your state's Department of Education. Super simple. Google your state name, Arkansas, or wherever you are, and DOE. Department of Education. When you get to the Department of Education website, they will either have, and sometimes the wording gets a little tricky, either it'll be homeschooling is one word or homeschool is two words or home education. So put all those in the search box and see what they say. When you get to the site about home education, you can read the laws for yourself and make sure that you're following them. Now, put a little asterisk up next to this one because sometimes they can be a little bit confusing. If you are confused about what you need to do, it's a very simple process. All you need to do is scroll down to the bottom of the page and call the 1-800 number. There will be a 1-800 number at the bottom of the page for your State Department of Education. On the other end of the line, someone will pick up and it is their job to explain the laws of the state to you. And if they don't know, they will pass you on to somebody else who does. So I have heard <laughs> in many homeschool groups that I do not agree with, um, that you shouldn't call your state department of education, that you shouldn't trust what they say on the DOE, that you know state public school systems are out to trap homeschoolers. Okay, this is not true. If you go to your state's website and you read the laws yourself, you will know exactly what to do and you can put your mind to rest. If you don't understand it, call them up. They will tell you probably very nicely, uh, what you need to do to be in compliance with your state law. That's it. If you don't know what to do, go on your Department of Education website, call them up on the phone and ask. Super simple, easy answer. If you have a pressing question, shoot me an email, actually at thehomeschoolresourceroom.com, and don't forget to subscribe.